Hello, I'm Dr. Judith Boyce, and welcome to another edition of Health Essentials. Today, we'll be talking about Melissa officinalis lemon balm, which is a wonderful herb that has so many different actions, and I would really encourage you to share this information with friends and family. I chose Melissa officinalis because it's a wonderful example of an herb that has multiple different effects, multiple different benefits. In the world of pharmacology, the aim is to find one single constituent, one single chemical within a plant that causes a particular effect. In truth though, one of the beauties of plant medicine is that plants are so complex. They're a combination of many different chemicals, many different nutrients, and so there are synergistic activities and balancing activities that happen within a plant. And my hope is that you'll get a flavor of that today as we talk about Melissa or lemon balm. Probably one of the things that Melissa is best known for is to address anxiety and depression. Melissa is really interesting in that will, it will reduce depression, reduce anxiety without sedating. We're finding now that one of the ways that Melissa does that is by changing, by modulating our serotonin production. So Melissa is a wonderful ally to reduce anxiety to reduce depression and the depressive symptoms without sedating. You can still keep your clear mind, your clear thinking. Research also supports Melissa officinalis as an antiviral. There's recent research that was done to see if Melissa could be used instead of or synergistically with antiviral drugs for herpes, herpes simplex 1 and herpes simplex 2. Herpes 1 are the outbreaks around the mouth. Herpes simplex 2 are the genital herpes, although the truth is that they're not well behaved. Herpes 1 can show up in the genitals. Herpes 2 can show up around the mouth. So they did find that Melissa officinalis was effective both for the forms of herpes that were responding to antiviral drugs and also those that were developing resistance to antiviral drugs. And that's one of the concerns now is cyclovir and other antivirals, the viruses is, are starting to learn how to work around those pharmaceutical drugs. So Melissa officinalis lemon balm is a very effective ally and this was from cell studies. They're not yet um, human or animal studies, but cell studies are showing that Melissa does have antiviral effect. Melissa also reduces spasming, so it's an antispasmodic. And all, another, another really interesting use or benefit of Melissa that I didn't know about until very recently was that Melissa has been used traditionally in Middle Eastern medicine for heart palpitations. And there was research done with, in this case, um, humans. This is one of the few research studies. It's really wonderful when I can find research studies that were actually done with humans. And they did find a reduction in benign heart palpitations. So there was no underlying heart damage or ischemia or things like that. Just benign kind of garden variety heart palpitations benefited from a Melissa officinalis. And then another study with mice and rats, they found that the um, giving Melissa lemon balm ahead of causing injury to the hearts of the mice, uh, it, the Melissa prevented the heart damage. So Melissa has benefit to the heart, reduces anxiety, depressive symptoms, has antispasmodic effects, so it helps to relax muscles, and it also has the effect of protecting the heart against injury. So multifaceted, um, multifaceted are many functions, many uses of Melissa. And this is true for many herbs. People will come to me and say, well, this herb is for that, right? You take this for that. And I'll smile and I'll say, that's one use. Plants are so amazingly diverse, and that's because of their complexity. So this is a wonderful herb to have in your home medicine chest. I wanna encourage you to share this with friends and family. Also know that this week is a very special launch of the Green Medicine Chest book. Green Medicine Chest, Healthy Treasures for the Whole Family. So be watching this week for some more news about that launch starting this Thursday, April 19th. And another heads up, May 4th will be the beginning of a telesummit, the Green Medicine Chest Summit, Medicines from the Earth. So keep your ears tuned, keep your, a watch on 
email. If you're on my email list, if you would like to join the list, please click on the link below. I'll be delighted to see you in the upcoming book launch and also in the summit. Many blessings.